Hi and welcome back to the channel. This is Dina at Left Lane Finds and today I am actually going to go over some uh, solds that um, I've sold since I started doing the YouTube. So we'll just do some from uh, July, August and into September here. And I also have a small haul for you. And I also um, want to let you know that I'm going to be doing a collaboration with um, Nicole from Nesting Haven and with Aaron from The Collection Vintage. Uh, so this is going to be a Halloween. I've been talking about it in the last couple videos, but it is, is coming up on the 29th. Um, it's going to, which um, is a Tuesday. Uh, it's going to drop at 2 p.m. Uh, of course, you can watch it at any time. You don't have to watch it the moment it goes live, but it's going to have um, a whole bunch of us thrifters, uh, things that we found for Halloween and that we thrifted for Halloween either for ourselves or for resale and um, it's going to have a playlist of a whole bunch of different thrifters and it's a good way to find other thrifters to watch and uh, get to new, know some of the, the newer um, thrifters like myself and of course uh, you can um, subscribe to all these new uh, channels and just it gives you a whole bunch more variety of uh, people to watch and it's all the more to learn of course I, I watch a whole bunch of thrifters uh, on YouTube because there's just so much to learn and it's so interesting and everybody has a different style and that is just fantastic so anyways let's just get into it a little bit um, now I use a Chromebook I am I don't have all the equipment that some of the other people do I don't have any editing software um, and uh, so I'm not able to like put up pictures of the items I sold and things like that. So I'm just gonna read you some things um, uh, that I've sold recently. And if you have been watching the videos, you re might remember them uh, from the past here. So um, in one of my first videos, uh, at least the first couple videos, I had uh, put up some of these vintage, uh, like tall drinking glasses. They were like yellow and white daisies daisy glasses um and uh i believe they also had the juice glasses with them um because it was six all together um boy I, I can't even remember i just have the the little bit of i just put a little bit of detail in into my spreadsheet to track uh my sales but anyways those sold for 18 dollars um and um I'm not going to be able to necessarily give you how much I paid for. If I remember it, I'll say it. But for the most part, um, it, like I said, if you've been following along, I would have said like how much I paid for it then and then, you know, how much. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I might be able to give you paid for. Um, oh, yeah, it says six dollars and a little over six dollars for those. Six dollars, a little six. I think it said six sixty eight for some reason. And I, and I sold them for eighteen. Um, I also sold that little, um, the little relish tray, the Germany, um, the little relish tray. I sold that for $10.80. And then the little uh, pig salt and pepper shakers that had the little basket, the little ceramic basket, I sold those for $15.30. Um, so I believe, and I'm going to try to do this, got the pigs I bought for $1.50 and the little relish tray I, I paid $1.99 for. Uh, so... Let's see here. Um, I sold a Vera Bradley bag. It was the large green and blue paisley one. And I sold that for $15.99. And let me just move this screen out of the way a little bit. Then I'll be able to do this a little faster. There we go. And so I paid $5 for the Vera Bradley. Um, the Corel Woodland um, dinner plates and bowls. Um, I bought those for $5 at a grad sale and sold those for 20 bucks. Um, the Ikea, the little bar glasses, I had paid $2 for those and I sold those for $17.99. So getting pretty good returns on, on a lot of this stuff. I'm pretty happy so far with that. Um, I sold a Brighton handbag I had bought for $5 and I sold that for $23. Uh, that was one where I was like debating keeping it for myself. But I thought, well, I'll put it up for sale and we'll see what happens. And it sold uh, it, like immediately. So... Um, uh, I have other Brighton bags that I use for myself and I might sell those and then I'll get myself something new. So we'll see what that ah, new to me though, new to me. Um, so I sold the tuxedo uh, cow teapot. Uh, he was so cute. I loved him. Uh, I bought him for five bucks and sold him for 14. 
Um, I had some Libby uh, footed uh, drinking glasses. Uh, these are the, the little ones that are this big. Um, and I bought those for $4, sold those for $26. Um, let's see, I'm going to skip over some of this Poshmark stuff because I didn't sh show you that. Uh, the Starbucks uh, Michigan mug sold, um, paid $1.50 for that, sold that for $9.49. The little vintage alligator salt and peppers, bought those for $2. Um, I believe I bought those for $2. Uh, for some reason, I, I put that in there because I'm pretty sure that's what I s bought them for. It might have been $3, but I sold them for $17.99. Um, the Dresden bowls, um, and I think I still have the little plates left for sale, but the Dresden bowls, they sold right away. I bought those for $3 and I sold them for $25. Um, I meant to list those for higher. So <laughs> I was like, oh, well, they sold right away. So I'm like, quick returns. I, I like that too. So, so, um, I didn't make as much money as I wanted to on that, but that's okay. You don't always have to make top dollar on everything. Um, there was a little um, mug that I had that had uh, a crow on it, like a raven on it. Um, I had bought it for 25 cents at a grad sale, sold that one for $5.99. Um, sometimes, you know, I, I wanted to get a little more for that one, but um, it was just too, um, it's not like someone's gonna necessarily be looking specifically for that kind of a mug. I, it was too unique. So I just lowered the price and it sold right away. So maybe people are looking for crows or ravens. Um, the loft, um, the loft outlet, uh, the yellow top, the one that I found in the bins that was still in the plastic bag, um, I actually figured out, uh, based because they pay, you pay by the pound there. So I knew, I knew how much it weighed cause I weighed it, um, and did the math and I paid about 33 cents for that top and I sold it for 28.50. It was new in the bag, you know, so I made a really good return on that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, going to the bins pays off uh, now some not all bins are the same so you know that's always uh, uh, you know kind of a crapshoot that way um, but these happen to be awesome bins I could have spent a couple days there I, I actually wish I had known that they were that good I would have done that when we were down uh, on that trip uh, when we went to Kentucky and these just happened to be in Indiana um, so I had some um, these uh, sexton uh, train plaques they were like the they looked like you know like the train engines um and what was really neat about it is um uh the person who bought them uh, instead of writing me like uh, it was on etsy instead of writing like a little review they just sent me a picture that they had a bigger train engine you know like the front of the engine and then they had the two smaller ones next to it it was it was so neat i loved it it was so nice when people do that um so for those, I paid about a dollar twenty for those, and I sold them for eighteen. Um, I sold a blue Danube bowl. Uh, bowl. Uh, I paid two sixty nine for that, and sold that for twenty. Um, the Yankee uh, Yankee Candle. The it was the shade, the shade topper, and the plate. It was white with the the little green uh, clovers, like the Irish theme to it. Uh, clover. I paid. Um, a uh, dollar seventy nine for that, and and sold it for twenty one, uh, yeah twenty one ninety nine. And let's see here. Oh, the Starbucks. Um, I have a Starbucks the pitcher, the mugs, and I had a little lidded creamer, but I didn't have. Uh, was it no lidded? Yeah, it was a little lidded cream creamer, but I didn't have the sugar bowl. But somebody bought just the creamer, so I paid two. Two sixty-seven for that, and sold that for ten ninety-nine. So I still have the mugs and uh, the bigger pitcher um, available yet. I sold the little Welch's jelly glasses that I bought at a yard sale for three dollars, and I sold those for sixteen. And um, oh, here, here's uh, that that bowl from Norway, the red and blue bowl from Norway. It was stavanger flint like i don't know how to say it <laughs> i paid a dollar for that i sold it for 13. um the yellow stoneware soup mugs they were so pretty i stacked them up and, and took the picture that way and those sold a right, right away um paid two dollars for that and and uh, got twenty dollars for that the pink pig mug from spain the wax uh wachterbacher Wachtersbach, 
I can say the German names if I'm slow enough to say them. Wachtersbach, Pig Mug, um, paid 45 cents for him and I sold him for 16. A, um, I had a green Tupperware bowl with a lid, paid a dollar for him and sold that for $7.99. Do you remember the mushroom embroidered tablecloth that I pulled out of the bins that was full of stains? I actually then in a second video showed you I I gotten all the stains out while I listed that and it still had the holes in it. Um, I didn't fix the holes. I just said that they were there. Um, by weight from the bins, I paid about 81 cents for because I did the math and I sold it for $20. Um, the Victoria's Secret, the pink sequin top, you know, the V-neck top I also got from the bins. Um, so if you go back and watch the Goodwill bins video, you'll see some of this, what I'm talking about. Um, I paid 49, 48 cents based on weight and I sold that for 16, sold that on Poshmark. Uh, let's see here. So some of these, um, I sell things on Etsy, eBay, and Poshmark. Um, let's see here. I sold the, the green and blue luster vase. It was pretty tall. Um, that one I just showed recently. I bought, uh, paid three fifty, sold him for 15 The Longenberger candy corn crock. Um, I wish I had saved him because he would have been perfect for the Halloween, but I already sold him by the time I made that video. So um, uh, he sold so quick, I, I paid a dollar at the grad sale and I sold him for $10.49. I still have the other crock available, the cranberry one, uh, which would be really nice uh, for uh, decor uh, for the rest of the um, you know holidays coming up. Um, and let's see here, uh, the McCoy, the little McCoy brown planter was like, it had the little tray that was attached to it. I, it, I didn't think that would, I didn't know how I was going to sell that because I was like, oh, it just is so hard to describe. And I sold him right away too. I paid a dollar for him and he sold for $10.50. Um, uh, so there was another sale on Poshmark that I didn't have in any, any of my videos. I'm going to skip that one. And there's another one. Okay. Oh, so uh, then I also sold... Um, it was a floral quilted bag. It was new with tags. Um, I had it on Poshmark. I bought it for three dollars. Sold that one for sixteen. I had a Fenton, um, one of those little hobnail vases. They're really tiny with the you know wavy edge on them. Um, I bought that for two dollars and sold that for eleven. And uh, there's another Poshmark sale that was not in any of the videos. Oh, and the last thing I sold that's at least listed on here. Um, cause I, I just realized there's other things to put on that list. Um, remember the purple suede shoes, the men's shoes. I put those up and they sold in one day. I paid uh, around $5 for them and I sold them for 45. They sold so quick. I, again, I, I, I knew it was going to be a risk when I bought them. And I, at the very least, I thought if I buy them for five and can't sell them for any kind of profit, I was just going to try to get my money back on those. But to my surprise, they sold um, in one day of being on eBay because uh, I did a buy it now. So that was pretty cool. So now I'm just going to expand my screen here and let's get into the haul video. I know this is going to be a long video. We're already at 13 minutes, but I got some goodies to the right side of me and a couple to my left. So let's start with these little cuties over here. I, I, um, I've told you a couple of times, I went thrifting every day for a week, which I normally don't do. I usually just thrift here and there, but I did Monday through Friday thrifting and I hit a whole bunch of new thrift stores all over my area. And I got these little cuties there, these little ducks, they're so cute. Let me just switch him around so you can see. He's the creamer, and this is the sugar with the lid, and it says five dollars for the pair. So I was in, and this is Fitz and Floyd, Japan. Um, you know what? I have to get that sticker off there. I think that says, oh, it says 1987. Nin yep, 1987. Ooh, can you guys see that? Let me get. 1987. Um, uh, so I went to a thrift store. It was a Salvation Army. 
Um, and they called it Sally's though. The outdoor window display around this Sally's Salvation Store looked like a high-end boutique. You could tell it was vintage things and modern things mixed in, but the windows displays, they looked like professional window displays. It was, I was like amazed. I was like, I had never seen anything like that as I was walking around the building because you park in the back and then you walk around to the front. I was like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. I got about six feet into this store and I started picking things up. One of the first items I picked up uh, before the ducks was this item, which I showed you guys when uh, in the picture. Um, I'll get to him in a minute. But they had, it was very small and very tight and you could barely get around and there was people in there and we're all trying to keep our distance with our masks on. And I was seeing all kinds of beautiful goodies. Um, there is something that I'm not gonna show you today uh, that'll be on the, another video, so I'll show it to you later, but I got a whole set of dishes. I saw them and I knew some, I knew people weren't just gonna go and grab this, so I shopped a little bit, but I literally got about six feet into the store. I had so much stuff in my, my little, they give you these little rolling carts. It, it has an extended uh, handle on it. And I was putting things down in that. And I'm like, oh, Jesus, this is all breakables. I was very nervous. And I decided, I'm like, I'm just going to go up to the counter, buy what's in my cart, and then tell them I want the dishes too. And um, that's what I did. So I was there for maybe 10, 15 minutes. And I bought a whole set of dishes plus all these goodies that you're going to see. And um, there's a few more goodies I'm going to show you that I didn't get there. But um, anyways... So let's talk about these. So I paid $5 for these to Fitz and Floyd. Um, I would expect to get some like $20 to $25 uh, for these. They are, they are in really good condition. I just love them. I thought they were so cute. I know a lot of people that are hunters or have cabins or, or kind of like that um, type of uh, decor. So this would just go perfect with that. They're just so cute. And there is just, they're just in extremely good condition. I love those. So let's look at this guy again. Let's come back to him. So this was the first thing I picked up because if you can see on there, he's got like a peacock and, and foliage here and some shells. It was like really interesting. And I picked, I was like, what? I'm like, I've never seen a figurine like that. I'm like, that has got to be some, some sort of artist or artware. And sure enough, and I had to write his name down because I keep Nate Burkus. Nate Burkus. So one of these just sold for $25 and I paid $3 for him. I was trying to look him up in the store, but at the same time, my eyes were popping out with all of the goodies I didn't that I didn't even get a chance to go and look at or see. Um, I, I was seeing so many things without having to look anything up, but I definitely, I wanted to look him up because there was just, I was just so curious about him. I kept putting in giraffe as the description instead of camel, but as soon as you put in camel, he comes up and, um, he, he just recently sold for $25. So that's what I'm going to list mine for the same price and we'll see what happens there. And this was so adorable. I was like, wow, look how pretty that is. I mean, a lot of teacups are very pretty. Um, what I liked about it was the, it kind of has this ribbon, it kind of ribbons around, it kind of, I guess, waves a little bit. Of course, the gold handle and it's all trimmed in gold. Um, it's hand painted. Um, it almost looks like it has a spout there, the way, the way it's designed. But it's a little teacup. Look at the saucer. It's so beautifully painted. I paid four dollars for the set. Um, it is a Lefton. It's Lefton China. And what's funny about these is people who list them up for bid, they get about eight dollars for it. But if the people who listed them up as buy it now are selling them for twenty three dollars. So I will be doing a buy it now sometimes putting some things up because there was just so many types of teacups and things like that or if somebody doesn't really know what they have um they put it really low for bids and then that's all it sells for but the buy it nows are the exact same cup 
$23, so I'm going to put mine up for that um, and uh, see if that sells for that. Um, so I was just so excited to find him. And then I saw this bowl. I, I wouldn't have even been able to do like a shop at shop thrift with me type video in this place. It was so tight and so small and there was people in and around and the whole time I was trying to look at things there was a gentleman who kept moving things around and rearranging things trying to fit more items on the shelf it was they were completely packed in they were so tiny and they were really tall so trying to reach in to grab like one item out you had to be really careful um, so I would have been way too nervous to try to to do a video um, and unlike this Salvation Army, there was very little clothing on the one side. It's a very small building, but I cannot wait to go back up there. And um, it's in a great little town. So it's a place where I can like go to lunch or breakfast. I'd probably maybe I'd go up and, and go shopping and then go to lunch afterwards because it's just a great town to hang out in. But I just thought this was so pretty. This is like um, a handmade like pottery type bowl. And it's like the peacock feathers, the blues. Now there's no mark on it, so I don't know who made it. Um, I tried looking it up, it's nearly impossible. So if anybody would know if this is a particular artist piece that is known, that would be nice, but I'm thinking it's somebody's project piece and I paid $4 for him. I would expect to get maybe, you know, 10 or $12 uh, for this piece. It's just so, and it's it's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, I guess it's that earthenware, like an earthenware type of um, pottery. Then I saw these, and I kept walking past them, and they are all different fruits. Uh, I'm not sure if I even have those upside down or not. We got strawberries, and whatever those are <laughs> the yellow fruit um there's cherries i got the cherries and these are so pretty and the plums i love this kind of stuff this is just so beautiful to entertain but it's also would be very beautiful displayed on the wall um, but this would just oh, be so cute uh, on a table for entertaining um, and again, I'm not sure what kind of fruit, it might be pears or something on that. But this is Fruit Du Jour by, by Shafford, 1987. And so I paid $5 for these and they roughly go, people sometimes sell them in sets of four or sets of six. I have five, so, and they're roughly going for $5 a plate. So I'm going to list mine for uh, $25 uh, for those. I just think they're so neat. Um, it's a little out of season for that kind of fruit, but for some reason, I think I'm still going to list those now. Um, some things I'm going to wait and list later because, um, in fact, here I'll show you the next item here. Like this. I picked this up because this is just a nice, really nice um, hand painted dish. It was pa painted by Peggy, Peg in 2001 so it's just coming up on you know next year when the, when I'm gonna list this this will be 20 years old and I'm gonna list it up around Easter time because this was just a beautiful plate that you can use in the springtime for serving something on I paid two dollars for it and I'm gonna list it for around ten to twelve dollars uh, so I'm not gonna list it up now but I just thought oh this is just so neat um, and sometimes when I'm thrifting, I always think about if it doesn't sell in a thrift store, the next step, if it doesn't go to the bins, is going to go to a landfill. So I was like, this is just too pretty not to get, and there was value in it for me to, to sell, so, and, um, to make a little bit of profit. Um, and let's see here. I have this little item over here. Now this I got at a different, uh, store. Uh, so, yeah, I can't wait to get back to Sally's to, to get more stuff. But there's two boxes. The dish set that I got fills two boxes in the other room. I was trying to keep everything in this room, but I have now flooded into another bedroom uh, because I have too much. I bought too much during that week. 
uh, things are selling, um, which is great, and inventory is moving, uh, but I just have way too much right now. <laughs> Uh, so I got this vase. I thought this was really neat. Now it's it's a little hard maybe because of the light there. But this is real subtle green in there. And look at the detail. It's like a mountain scene with all the trees. And there's like a little, little cabin there. It's up on stilts. So I'm not sure why that little cabin's up on stilts unless it's in a flood zone or something. But it's just a, a pretty vase. Um, it, there might be a mark under here. So it says a dollar a one that when I went to um, Home Goods, or no, I mean when I went to Volunteers of America uh, in their Home Goods section, uh, it was half price that day. So I paid fifty fifty cents for that. Um, but I would expect to get like maybe $10 to $12 uh, for this face. I just thought it was really pretty and I thought that would be so, it's so subtle um, in terms of um, what it is showing. And it kind of goes a little bit with my ducks, with that whole um, cabin, cabin feeling. Um, this would be nice to display at Christmas time. You know, something that's not, you know, extremely Christmassy and you can put something sticking out of it that would, that would be really nice like some evergreen branches out of that. That would look so pretty. And then my last item, let's see here we're at 26 minutes. Don't want to go too long on this. So I'm going to do these quick. I picked up these. I'm doing a little bit of re uh, retail arbitrage. I picked up two of these Ray Dunn black dream candles. And um, now that one has this little plastic thing and this one doesn't. I just realized it doesn't have this little plastic thing, but they are uh, Midsummer Dream Scented Candles by Magenta and I paid eight dollars a piece for these because they were super clearance 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 eight dollars a piece they were probably left over maybe from last year but people are selling them this year and they're selling them for 20 bucks a piece so I was like okay I will pick these up uh, for that and I will sell them for that because um, they go great with um, you know, anybody who, who loves things that are in black and white like this or just the dream part, um, it also goes good with Halloween, uh, you know, in terms of selling, uh, I mean, displaying things for Halloween. So, um, so just a reminder, um, check out the Halloween that's going to be with Nicole and Aaron. Um, it's going to launch on the 29th at 2 p.m. There's going to be a playlist of myself along with a whole bunch of other uh, thrifters showing their little hauls for Halloween and um, and what else oh and if you like these videos and you like this content please um, you know subscribe to my channel it really helps me out and hit that thumbs up and any comments I really appreciate the comments I do read them and I, I uh, respond I, I try my best to respond to all of them um, even if it's just a little heart or um, I write back uh, but uh, Hopefully uh, you're having a good, good time uh, watching all these videos. I'm certainly having a really good time uh, doing them, and um, I will see you. I will see you next time. Bye.